job for you, 621. You're joining an operation planned by Balaam HQ. Yep. Check two allies. Michigan dudes. Heard That's where we got our name. G13. Good. Sit your ass down and listen. Yeah. Balaam's moving in on the Gallia Dam complex, one of the Liberation Front's bases. Liberation's dam. Gun 13, huh? I'll stick with 621. <laughs> Already don't making friends. Teach you bad manners. I don't think they have bad manners. I don't think they mean bad. Main system activating combat right. mode. That is Iguazo and that is Volta, right? Balaam Drew Base C Squad Red Guns report for duty. Commence mission. Attack! Get in there, you maggots! Great. An independent bird. It's the wise guy who decided the Red Gun should be taking care of some freelance. Who gives a shit? We'll have them to fish themselves. One target destroyed. Hey, freelance here. And no one even told you why we're here. Well, that's for you, Red Gun, to get to climb the wall. This is just target practice. Yeah. Yeah, we did learn um, on our last playthrough that Iguazo is. Oh, he doesn't like us. This is the choice. Interesting. Your call oh, six two one. Mm. Fuck it, let's do it. This is something new. Your cooperation is appreciated. This is something new. Six two one. We've received a friendly ID tag from the Liberation Front. Let's not waste their firepower. All right. Let's do this. We should go for Volta first.
This is like a hell of a lot easier to maintain. Bota is the one, Your all cooperation right. is appreciated, Raven. 621, we've received a friendly ID tag from the Liberation Front. Let's not waste their firepower. All right, Volta. Oh, but I see what he meant by... Yeah, there was another AC from the group from was it? Should actually move over to him. I actually need help. I can't face these two guys. I need the help of the other AC if I remember. If I can get over. No repair kit remaining. You should be over here if I remember. Doesn't seem to be over here, but the Volta is the problem. And oh boy, if I Volta is hard enough to handle. Ah, this is what I should be doing, right? If Volta can't fly, then I can separate Iguazo from Volta. And it faces 101. Way easier to deal with. This is. I'm not gonna survive, though. Let's just shoot him. Do you think our missile launcher isn't very effective? Look at him, he's struggling to get up. Oh, okay. Alright, Volt is gonna kick my ass, but there's nothing I can do about it. So he has a shotgun, which is. Unless I can keep my distance. Yeah, that's the songbirds. Songbirds are the only really scary thing. Yeah, there we go. Oh damn, that got me. Oh boy, motor. Could you stop? <sighs> Alright, now we know though. We can separate Iguazo from Volta, because Volta can't fly. <laughs> Super cool though. Super cool. I wonder how this will affect. Interesting.
I should swap out my missiles because I uh, don't know if they are effective. The thing is though, I haven't done shit to you. But I can see now when to use the locks. Oh, boat is here. The thing is, this isn't a great environment to play in. This is a bad position. That's the songbirds. Maybe jumping will help, but I still have to be worried about the songbirds. Oh, he's just extremely tanky. Okay, it is just the distance. Oh, those are the songbirds really fast. Keep my distance. Okay. Why are you walking? Holy crap. I just don't understand why it just stops boosting. I'm gonna get staggered. Oh, there we go. Let's see how this changes things. I mean, it's kind of sad because I do like Michigan. So I, I honestly, I wanted to refuse it, but I had to do it because um, it was something new. I got a shit ton of bonus pay penalties. Since Michigan was uh, billing us. Cool. And we got logs. Messages? Let's see what we got. You must be the handler, I presume, for the independent mercenary Raven. Honored to make your acquaintance, V2 Snail. Ah. Uh... I understand you want to join Operation Wall Climber. Oh, cool. You do realize that disposing of some Liberation Front garbage hardly qualifies you. Know your place, you meager dog sitter. The answer is no. I hear you're deploying V1 again. Yeah, mate, it's the same dialogue. It's slightly Speaker different if I remember. One pilot to rely on. Oh. Are you suggesting your dog can take Freud's place? Ah, uh, we know who Freud is. The number one. Just give us the chance. Very well then. We're also deploying V4. Rusty. Who's been equally brazen of late. Let's see how they both perform. I think the dialogue was slightly different because I don't remember Snail ever having to approach us. It was Water which approached Snail, right? But I think Snail approached us this time. I could One be wrong. New message. Oh. You got lucky, Merc. Yeah? So, you got a nice punch in. <laughs> Go buy a lottery ticket. Okay, I will. The red guns are going to be first over the wall. Have fun watching from the sidelines. Oh, you know, I think I kind of remember him also saying that as well. Huh. It's, it's crazy that I didn't notice that Iguazo hated us. It was only when, you know during the later mission where we face him, then I did realize. But yeah, he does hate our guts, doesn't he? Hmm. 
Alright, wall climber. Uh, Juggernaut. Don't really like that fight, but... Uh, let's see. Don't think anything different here. Maybe we'll get choices mid-mission, just like we did on the dam. Yeah, proven wrong though. There was definitely a choice. Just They just didn't explicitly say during the actual mission. This request comes straight from Archibus headquarters. Yeah. And we know we are a essentially a sacrifice. Your objective is to take the Liberation Front Fortress, the wall. But we survive and we take it down. With the help of Rusty. Main system activating combat mode. Hmm. But yeah, there was information, um, We'll start by clearing the way for Archibus. That there was a take out the Gatling cannons protecting the city. A set path to getting in. Uh, the ending we got during our first playthrough, but it seems like it doesn't really matter. The only choice that actually matters is the very end missions where you either face uh, Carla or not. I saw that um for New Game Plus Plus, there is a natural route that you should go to to unlock the ending. Uh, right. We have to kill the lasers. We have already examined that from our previous. Now that I'm realizing though, there's probably a few logs I might have missed, so I wonder if I should um pay a lot more attention to my surroundings. Because yeah, there were definitely a bunch of logs or well, combat logs that is that I did not get during past missions that I I don't know if I want to care about that. I'm kind of more interested in the uh, getting to the end. I guess we can just kill this guy. Does he have a sword? I don't really remember. Oh, okay. That's a lot of rockets. down here that I might have missed during the first playthrough. Hmm. Alright, I need to remember that I do actually have scan. <laughs> it's just really something I don't use. I think that's the one thing I didn't perhaps kill at the very top there, but I, again, I don't think I can actually get that high, can I?
Oh, you know what? Now that I'm looking at it, is that the drug or not? I think it might be. Yeah, I, I think it is the drug or not. Machines. Uh, damn. Uh, Be prepared for close quarters combat. I want to change our missile that we have on our right shoulder. Hey, Rusty. Shield guy. Rusty's really good though. And I also realized at the very end of the game that um, the one that killed Rusty was actually Walter, wasn't it? Because he's uh, his uh, communications cut off. And yeah, now I can now see that Walter was the one that did it. Which is, which sucks honestly. Yeah, Rusty gets killed by Walter. There should be a lift nearby. The target is close. Killed, I, I don't know. Out commission, yeah. I don't know if he was actually killed. It's possible that he somehow escaped and survived. But yeah, and I realized that um, the corporations put him in that coral enhanced AC as well. But yeah, at the end of it, his um, he couldn't help, he couldn't stop himself because he was compelled to, because of the coral and his past. That he that was his ultimate decision, though. That he wanted to stop us, even even wearing the without wearing the armor. I feel like he would have bought us, but at the very end, he saw through it. believed in us but yeah all right dragon fight I don't like that's the chuggernaut heavy mobile <sighs> okay, you're I wouldn't recommend taking it head on it won't be able to keep up with steel haze I'll distract it while you hit its blind spot super thank you are you Please, boost. Oh my god. Just don't understand why it doesn't boost. Oh, go we'll back to mines. Knows we're not raving. Hmm. But it's not possible for him to know our true that was sixty one. Unless he knows what sixty one is, who we are, our past. But 
Perhaps it's Raven or whatever. We we don't know. We we just know that he's fighting for Rubicon at the end of it, and that he probably had ties with Raven and helped Raven leak stuff, right? He knows we're not the real Raven, so he's sort of cautious. Hmm. Peter? Or something? We're war buddies now. Oh. I think hey, I should Rusty. tell you something. During Operation Wall Climber, yeah. Archibus you, uh, was sacrifice. planning to sacrifice you. The plan was that instead both the higher up as well. Yep. This mission, nothing new. These were with the secret snipers. These is I don't remember this, but let's do it. Got a job for you, 621. This request comes from the Rubicon Liberation Front. Raven, there's a mission I'd like you to take on. We have authorized a solo helicopter sortie to rescue a group of imprisoned comrades. to rescue in total including some particularly I think personnel. this is new this Raven, is new we hope our struggle will inspire you to aid the liberation front's cause coral abide with rubicon yeah i think this is new and you know what this second playthrough is it feels like they're it feels like they're going to push you towards the the ending of the liberation of Rubicon, but <laughs> I did that during our first playthrough, so it would have been, I suppose, the first playthrough is supposed to be for the other ending that we didn't get, and for the second playthrough, we were, I guess, pe for people who didn't do the liberation of Rubicon ending, this new game plus is actually pushing for this. So it kind of sucks that we're trying to go for the other ending, but this new game plus it seems to be pushing us towards the liberation. Huh. I think this is a new mission. Like, looks like switching sides of Galia left an impression yeah, on the liberation yeah. front. It is new. Guess we have you to thank for this job. Damn. Okay. Interesting. Now it's making me consider whether I do care about the second ending. How much dialogue would I be missing if I go against this? You know? Oh boy. We have to rescue our captured comrades. Failure is not an option. Coral, abide the Rubicon. Damn, yeah, it really does make me want to do the Liberation of Rubicon again. Because I'm curious as to see what the dialogue is. be using our radar to check our enemies. Do you need help? You, you came for me. Oh my god. It's her. Sorry to keep you waiting, I'm okay. Still alive at least. A little rest and I'll pay him back. Heading for the next site, Raven. Okay, no more. 
Oh. Damn. I guess one of them died. We've extracted Comrade Messer. But we were too late. Damn it. Not mess up. Heading to the last site. Just a little more, Raven. The coral wells of the Rubicon. Oh, life that's bad. Now. Oh my god. Father, don't mind. He's the last one. We're counting on you, Raven. Yeah. He's the father. He's the leader. I guess he died during the first playthrough because we weren't here. ZE survives. I believe. But can't confirm that father survives. Yeah. No. I believe everyone died apart from Zee. Because during the first mission. Yeah. Oh my god. Wow. Yeah, and I remember the logs. Father Don't Mind was against the symbiosis, right? They were against... Well, he, at least he was... skeptical. This is an aisle. Okay. Oh, please. It's gone too, right? I mean, he's pretty high up there. On the ranking. is insane especially with the dialogue with the father thumb you don't know what you're talking about when Z Yi put the black coral abide He understands that he's he's also a skeptic. He's like Walter. He's like everyone. He understands that coral can be dangerous, right? Fires of Ibis. Scorching of the stars. Symbiosis. Wow, super interesting. Yeah, it definitely goes into a lore a hell of a lot more. Wow. He himself is against it, and he's a Rubiconian. Hmm. I 
And obviously a lot of the Rubiconians who are unaware are Coral Bide. That's that's the slogan, that's all they say. Hmm. Wow, how much will we get? In terms of lore, how much more do we get to understand air? I know air is a believer, but I wonder how much change or feeling it will give me if I get to learn more. <laughs> It might possibly sway me that the destruction of Coral is best, I wonder. One new message. Let me thank you again, Raven. We couldn't have rescued our comrades without your help. Father Dolmayan is a key figure to the movement. A great Coral warrior who witnessed the fires of Ibis. He's a survivor. And a guide to us all. But now it seems... It's like he's... Yeah? No, I shouldn't. He carries a heavier burden than any of us. Oh, and uh, a personal note before you go. Thanks for saving Zahi. I owe you one. Oh, wow. Damn. Is there any point to doing these? I don't think there is. I don't get anything right. Hmm. Damn. I know, I know he's a skeptic, the father. But we still need to know what symbiosis actually means. Well, I can kind of garner Good an idea. The but what the actual notion of symbiosis means is what? Well, uh, it's a two way thing. Benefits. What is it like venom? A symbiosis? <laughs> you know? What does it mean? I know, stealth machine. Um, not stealth machine, but just stealth snipers. Main system activating combat. Oh wow! Again, air is a believer. Investigate Bouse Arsenal number two. I've been checking the perimeter, and I'm picking up nothing. What happened here? But who's the voice? Father Dolmayan. Right, listens. Sh during the logs that we did observe on our path through through there it was sh they talked about a voice was the voice air was the voice another another coral being which pushed him towards symbiosis a tide hmm because she states that she's a single coral among the coral tide, right? Something along those lines. So I wonder if there was a coral which pushed bad ideals, bad notions, but a somewhat reasonable when, you know, they were being researched on and whatnot. This could have been like a fight so that they could live because they were being researched on and whatnot. He is talking about embers. Let's talk about big, huge fire, which is the fire survivors, right? But again, we are. Uh, the niche of coral, I, I still don't truly understand. Maybe there will be more dialogue to open that up, especially where we get to see air. Now I do, I have seen that we did miss a log here and I did see other people play through and I think it was on the ground or something Could be wrong
Um, where are they from? Are they PC? I presume they are PCA, right? Yeah, I think this is what we missed. Yeah, this is what we missed. Uh, you just saw Nage Rand, both the MTs off to World Court soon, no one ever touched his arsenal, got to move away as many years as we bank roll. Oh, Carnal, that's the only way we group Connie stand there. What was that? Connections, the connections. Oh. Someone attacked the Rubiconians. In a stealth mission to attack supplies. There's a guy right here, yeah? I think there's one there as well. Six to one. I think there's yeah. more than one this time. Use your scanner. Mark your targets to undermine their tricks. There might be one more. Identified machine down. No. Keep going. One here or something. According to the blueprint, there's a massive water reservoir deep inside the arsenal. If there's it will appear once us, we go through, right? Over here or something. Kill the snipers first and then the main guy. No doubt about it. This water. It contains faint traces of coral. Must have been an underground vein. Bows was hiding a well all this time. Hmm. I can only presume it is the PCA. Because the PCA are the only ones that would be trying to keep this hush hush. I see a guy there. Yeah. Crazy. I 
don't think we, yeah, we don't, we haven't ever unlocked that weapon, do we? Maybe we will unlock it in this new game. Seems Plus. that's the last of them. This wasn't a simple check-in after all. Head back and rest up, 621. Hmm. Augmented human. What happened to 617 and the rest? 617 and the rest. They did what it took to get us here. Huh. So how's the newcomer doing? Adequately. A Gen 4 augmentation can be unstable. We need to mm. choose our battles. Hi. Those things on your mm. end. I found the data our friends left behind. There's something promising in the watch point. Thinking about Sulla, how he talked about what happened to the other numbers that I think were close to ours. It seems like we all went into augmentation One and only I message. survived. I see your back, 621. About the coral well, that was, that was just a drip. It's not the one more I've sent you. This one is, you'll see. Okay. Yeah, it seems like we all went into augmentation and only we survived, maybe. But there was, in the trailer, right? Um, there were ACs fighting, right? In a story trailer. And there were, they were essentially sacrifices. And that kind of makes sense. They died for some sort of sacrifice and we were the only one. And that's how Walter talks to us. Like, you're the only one who can dot dot dot. We're the only one. Because the others sacrificed so that I would be able to do this job. Hmm. So, I, I do believe we are someone that is connected to Walter, not just a mercenary. You know? Because there are hints, you know, that, that in some way Walter has affection for us. Because there are circumstances where Walter tells the other people to, you know, he's a dog, but, you know, give him some respect. So, there is some sort of connection a past that we do have with water we, were we one of the scientists i don't know were we assistant we don't know but i have a feeling that we we do have a past and we were also already in annoying but you know since augmentation has messed us up we're essentially a dead body with only a mind perhaps we lost our memories in augmentation i the last fight of water when we faced him, there was a line saying, redo, undo the surgery, become normal again. And 100% certain that he was talking about us. Um, we were making sacrifices to, for this job, the observers, right? I, I believe we were in the observers and we were the sacrifices they all made sacrifices right the observers to do this job we are one of them they are willing to sacrifice to do this job and i believe we were one of them okay interesting <laughs> 